Welcome back in one of the best private plays YouTube channel. Today is Friday, October 11th, and we've got some more college football to talk about. Yes, I am still behind the screen. Nothing's working for me this week. Uh, car's not working. Life's not working. Recording's not working. Wi-Fi's not working. So maybe by, maybe by tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with it. But uh, we do have some recaps to talk about. Uh, Coast Carolina going up against JMU currently over 60.5 points, 29-7 at the half, and Coastal Carolina felt like they were kind of in control, 7-7, seven to seven, got the ball back, and then pick six, and then turnover, and then touchdown, and then touchdown in two for JMU, and this team blinked, and it's now 29-7 to seven at the half. Um, George Petaway over his rushing yards came out at 54 and a half, I believe. Let me triple check that really quick for you guys. Yeah, 54 and a half. Um, that one's cashed. I'm pretty sure he's ripped off a couple big chunks of yardage um, in that game. So that one should have cashed already. Ethan Vasco over 218.5 is what it came out at. Had, I don't know, 75 yards in the first two drives, and I think he's finished the half with 90-something. So he's got his work cut out for him, but Coastal Carolina is down in this game, so that is good for us. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Currently, 0-0 um, zero zero all the way around. None of the games have finished, but 59-37 this season. Back-to-back -back sweeps on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday nights. So hopefully, we can get another sweep on Thursday night. But let's take a look at some plays for Friday. We're going to be looking at some Big 12 football. Now, the winner of this game has got a good shot potentially taking on the Big 12 title if BYU finds a way to lose down the road. Uh, Utah going up against Arizona State. Utah's the ranked team, 16th in the country. Not entirely sure how that's possible because uh, they just dropped a game going up against Arizona, and Arizona's not a very good team. And I'm not making the case for Arizona State to be ranked, but they have played some similar opponents to Utah, so I figured that they would be at least hovering around the top 25, but they barely beat Texas Tech, which is kind of throwing me off a little bit in this game. I want to take them tonight. I am going to take them, and I'm going to take a shot on them. They are at home. It's basically a must-win game if you want any chance to make the playoff. I don't think there's a lot of difference between these two teams, and it doesn't look like Cam Rising is going to be playing football in this game either. He's just uninterested in playing this season. The seven-year senior says, you know what, I'll take the next couple games off as well. I'll come back for my eighth season. Everybody will be happy. And then he's going to get an injury sometime in game number two and then come back for a ninth season after that. But it looks like Wilson's going to be back there, quarterback, uh, the freshman from Utah. He's incredible. He's got an incredible um, athleticism, and he's very talented. He just makes a lot of poor decisions. His brain is just not right yet for college football. He makes all these mistakes, and that's why I'm going to take Arizona State here in a close game. Plus 4.5 is a play. You can make the argument that Utah is the better football team. They have the better coaching, I believe. They've got a week off. Uh, before this game to prepare for Arizona State as well. But you can also say that Utah, over the last several games against Arizona State, has dominated them. So there is some positives with Utah in this spot. Arizona State has a really good quarterback, uh, Sam Levitt. He's been fantastic this season so far. They've got one of the best running backs in the college football, uh, Cam Scadaboo. Who's gonna, I'm going to be talking about him as one of my player props today. But they found a way to win some games in the Big 12. That's really all you got to do to start off the season. They beat Kansas a couple weeks ago, 35-31. to 31. This defense for Arizona State... They've been just as good as the Utah defense. They rank 21st in the country in yards allowed per game. They're only giving up 23.8 points per game, and they have an offense that's scoring 30-plus points per game. So positive, positive, positive for Arizona State. On paper, if you haven't watched either of these teams play, you would assume that Arizona State's the better team. So sometimes you got to go off the numbers. Sometimes you got to go off of what you've been watching, but... You saw last week against Arizona, man. It's just it was some really bad football I watched. I think Arizona Arizona State can uh, beat them in this game. They're going to plan on Utah trying to run the ball, and Arizona State's really good defensively on the ground. So Michael Barnard for Utah is not going to be able to get that run game going. That's going to cause Wilson, the quarterback for Utah, to have some problems. This should be a defensive battle for the majority of the game, and then whichever team gets some rhythm in the second half is going to come away with a win. I think Arizona State offensively, is the better overall team. They're at home. you got to take the points in this game. Plus 4.5 for Arizona State as the play there. Let's move on to the player props. And for the first player prop today, we're going to be taking Cam Scadaboo, one of the best running backs in the country so far. Over 77.5 rushing yards against Utah. I mentioned this Utah defense a little bit ago. They're one of the best defenses in the country, but they're giving up 114.3 yards per game on the ground. That's definitely one of the better rushing defenses this season, but it's not their strong suit. Their strong suit this season to the secondary play uh, they've been gashed a couple times on the ground this season. Arizona State, they love to run the ball with their big boys. This guy is built like a tank. He's not even six foot tall. He's five foot 11, 225 pounds. He's a spow uh, power speed kind of guy. Last week going up against Kansas, he ripped off 182 yards and 25 carries. The week before that, they got him going in the passing game as well. 117 receiving yards going up against Texas Tech. 
and he still had 18 carries on the ground. This is your workhorse. This is your bell cow. This man is going to touch the ball 20 plus times on the ground through the air. Doesn't matter. I'm hoping 20 plus times on the ground in this game going up against an SEC team in Mississippi State. He was also able to rip off 262 yards off of 33 carries. I know Mississippi State's not that good this season, but still, that's a high-quality team that we're up against. This is probably going to be his toughest test this season going up against Utah, but I think this Arizona State team, they're going to go back to the run time and time again and things aren't, aren't going well. So I love this number for him, 77.5 rushing yards as the play. And for the next play, the other player prop tonight, we're going to be looking at Dorian Singer of Utah to go over 54.5 receiving yards. I don't necessarily trust Isaac Wilson, but this defense for Arizona State, they're one of the best in the country at stopping the run. I've mentioned Isaac Wilson in the breakdown of the game, but he forces several mistakes, whether it's fumbling, throwing interceptions. He's got a ton of athleticism, and he definitely has a top target that he likes to throw to, and that is Dorian Singer. Over the last three weeks, these guys have been connecting a ton as Dorian Singer has gone three consecutive games, five-plus catches, and 60-plus receiving yards in the last game going up against Arizona. Utah found themselves down, not able to get anything going offensively. And Dorian Singer was the only answer. Nine catches, 155 yards, and Utah still only scored 10 points in that game. So even if they do get shut down in this game, if the ground game's not working and Utah can't score a lot of points, we've still seen Dorian Singer go for 100-plus receiving yards. So I do think he's going to be just fine in this game. Isaac Wilson does have that clear number one target. It is Singer, and that's a good thing for us because, like I said before, I don't think Cam Rising is going to play in this game. If Cam Rising does play in this game, we're going to see this number go from minus 4.5 to Utah to minus 7.5. That's how much of an impact Cam Rising is going to make. So I don't think he's going to be on the field. It's going to be uh, Dorian Singer and Isaac Wilson the entire night. These guys love each other. Give me the over 54.5 receiving yards as the play here going up against that really good Arizona State front four. And let's take a look at the recap graphic. We're going to be taking Arizona State plus four and a half. Love the home team. Love the home pup here. Arizona State defensively is just as good as Utah. I think the Arizona State offense might be better than Utah's. I love them here in this spot. Cam Scadaboo over 77.5 rushing yards against Utah. And then Dorian Singer over 56.5 receiving yards going up against Arizona State. Guys, going to do it for the NCAA football plays and props for Friday, October 11th, slated games. If you guys enjoy the content, please be sure to drop a like this video and subscribe to the channel below. See you guys next video, and thanks for watching.